Hey folks, welcome back. So today we're doing a quick trip to Luzon or Lucens in the canton of Watt or Vaud in Switzerland. I'm butchering all my French pronunciation. I'm really sorry for that. My French is really bad. Well, anyway, um, yeah, did a quick motorbike tour. That's my bike up there. Tried to park nearby. The, I think it's, this is maybe the first nuclear meltdown in Europe. Um, right up here behind this hill was um, actually the first Swiss homebrew and the only one rea nuclear reactor that the Swiss government built in the 60s. And it had a very short lifetime. Um, there was like a partial meltdown in the late 60s. And yeah, I thought I'll just go take a look since I'm nearby. Uh, really beautiful area here too. I got my Atom Fast here and one of my DIY Geiger counters. Let's go take a look if we find something. But honestly, I have the feeling we won't. I think they did a pretty good cleanup job here for once. And yeah, it's all pretty long ago too. But uh, maybe we can hike on, on the hill, on the mountain a bit. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I changed into something more comfortable. It's really windy. I hope the audio is okay. Um, bike is parked. Melton, molten down reactor should be somewhere back here. Um, I got the atom fast counting. If you can see this. Eh, difficult, huh? But I'm also mapping. I'm doing a small map of the area. And the atom fast is in my sock, as it's always when I do something like this, because it's more accurate, closer to the ground, I guess. Yeah, let's go take a look around here. Let's see if we find something interesting. So I just found this pond here. I think this is actually the stream that goes through the creek that passes right by the reactor. It was not used for cooling. They had this weird CO2 um, cooling system. I'll talk about that later a little bit. Um, yeah, just wanted to check the water here. Apparently there was some tritium contamination in the water in the past, but it's been a long time. I don't think there's anything to measure here, honestly, but I'll oh, still try. Yeah, that's the atom fast. Just put it down here quick. And this is still only showing background, so really nothing special. But there's these beautiful dragonflies here. Maybe I can zoom in on one. Yeah, these here. Never saw them, seen these here before. Really dark blue, oh, almost ultraviolet color. Really pretty. Hey there, dragonflies. Hope you're not radioactive. <laughs> so I just walked up a little bit the hill. I think I'm on the back side of like the entrance uh, buildings. Like the outside buildings, the, the reactor was built into a cavern in the hill. This road looks really promising. Let's see what's behind here. So I can't get anywhere close to the reactor anyway, because it's deep in a... It's not a mountain, but it's a hill. It's not really anything nuclear going on here anymore. I guess inside there's still a lot of, quite a lot of contamination, but they were really lucky or smart or both. I don't know. Um, to build this inside of the mountain cavern. So all the radiation most of the radiation stayed inside after the accident. I guess there was some venting of radioactive gases going on. Maybe I'll find the chimney up the hill, I don't know yet. I'll just go for a small hike. Well, apparently this is it. These are the entrance buildings, like the supply buildings, the outside part of the, the system. Um, yeah, looks... <laughs> there's not much going on here anymore, I guess. Just found this gate up the Grona road. Um, there's some sheep back here. Does somebody have, have their sheep here to like, eat some grass? That's the most life science that I get till now. Um, also, the Atom Fast is not doing anything really special. I'm just only getting background so far. Um, I think I'll just go take a walk. Let's see. I don't want to enter like if it's fenced, but I can walk around a bit. Maybe go on the hill. <laughs> Um, yeah, this here just looks like a hiking path. I, I guess it's for wood industry. Up there there's a building. I think this belongs to the complex, but I don't think it's the, the chimney, the vent that I'm looking for. I think that's even higher up. So I'm just walking around here look, looking if I find anything interesting. So this is the top building on the map, the smaller one, on, like more towards the hill. I still, still suspect that the vent tower should be above this here. 
but like this graffiti here is the only thing so far that I really see that kind of tells you that something involving radioactivity happened here. And I, I don't really speak French, but I think it's pretty negative. <laughs> Still, the Atom Fast is not showing any radioactivity. There's nothing above background. Here we have our lovely graffiti. On est dans la mer. Something with, yeah, something negative. Apparently the local kids had some fun here. Yeah, I'll just take a walk around. Let's see. Okay. There's an open door here. It's very difficult to resist. Take a look inside. I think I will. Hello? Bonjour. Only an echo. This could be the turbine room, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go inside. Interesting. Still, my atom fast dosimeter doesn't show me any radiation or anything above background. I have the alarm set to 0 0.2 millisieverts, I think. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I didn't expect this to be open. There's like a freaking tunnel up there. I guess that goes towards the reactor room. But like even this thing on the ceiling looks like it could be like a lid. I don't I think that was a vent or something. <laughs> These doors I know from like air raid shelter bunkers. We have them in Switzerland quite a lot. These are like nuclear war proof doors. Can I turn on the light? Yeah, I can. Honestly, I'm a bit afraid to go inside. Let's just go take a look quick. Okay, it's just the room going nowhere. Same over here, I guess. Other side view. <laughs> Very cool. But I think let's get out of here. Continue our hike. I found this concrete block with these manhole lids. I'm standing right on top, but it's still like 0 0.05 micro or millisieverts? Micro, I think, the small one. <laughs> so, <laughs> all good, nothing to worry about so far. I'm a little bit above the last building we just entered. Down there is the main complex, beyond the trees you can't really see anything. So I decided to return back to the bike. Also the beautiful weather. Let's hope it won't start to rain. Yeah, and also I'll explore this little road. It just goes under the main road. Don't know where it goes. Well, I think I will um, try to drive through the other side of the hill with the motorbike. I saw there's a hiking path up there. Maybe that leads me somewhere interesting. Um, this here only leads me to the train tracks. I don't think this is very interesting. But... I mean, been there, done that. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> uh, well, in general, the Lysol reactor was a six megawatt experimental nuclear reactor. Um, they connected it to the electrical grid, which is interesting that they actually did that on 29th of January, 68. So it was meant as like a small training facility, training reactor, but which would was actually working, you know, like for the, the bigger plants that they built afterwards. Um, it was a fully Swiss-designed uh, homebrew um, reactor. They wanted to try their own thing. Uh, later on, they went to buy American-designed reactors. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite interesting. In 1962, the construction of the fully Swiss-designed uh, nuclear power plant thingy began. It was heavy water moderated, and it was like uh, natural uranium or low enrichment-grade uranium type of reactor. Um, it only used, uh, it was fueled by 0.96% enriched uranium. 
And the cooling design was pretty interesting or weird. I'm, I have to research this further. I'm not familiar with that. Instead of any kind of water cooling, it used like a carbon dioxide gas cooling system. But um, the fuel rods were kind of designed that they could pump the, the carbon dioxide gas through the, the canisters with the fuel rods inside somehow. That was kind of the cooling system. That was, in the end, also the problem. That was... Um, I think they turned it off for about half a year and when they turned it back on again there was some cor corrosion residue in the cooling system and yet like very often in nuclear accidents uh, that was the problem like the cooling system in one of the um, fuel cores basically got stuck didn't work anymore so the whole thing started to melt down okay I'm on the back side of the hill. It's getting pretty windy. It's also could look a bit like rain, I'm not sure yet. But I found the right like um, forest road. I, I went to the wrong one just before. I think you saw it on the video. Yeah, let's explore down here a little bit. Also, we did pass through the, the village of, um, of Luson or Lucens, I'm not sure. Looks really pretty. They have like a really beautiful castle too. Apparently, um, I don't really have that much time. I need to to go to another place to find my hotel for tonight So I have to slowly start to like complete this mission, but this is really fun. I hope you enjoy it too Tell me if I should do more of these videos Yeah, I'll let you know if I find something interesting Let's see Maybe this here These are like ancient 1640 Six or so like landmarks which municipality whatever this looks really old interesting but let's check it's not radioactive atom fast is back in my sock nah nothing no beeps let's continue hmm crossroads and they're not on the map up or down up or down I think down is the one on the map so I'll try that one first let's see this is the creek this is the same like stream we've seen before, just uh, like the top side. Yeah, it's really a lot of trees, you can't see much. Um, okay, the trees are making noises, this is creepy. Uh, well, yeah, uh, but I'm pretty close to the building where I was before, just above. So I'll just go explore down here. I think that's like the last part I can do for today. I guess then it's really time to head back and call it a day. I'm really still curious if, if I can find this vent tower thing. Should be somewhere here. Maybe not. Okay, this is pretty much a dead end. Also the wind is getting a bit scary. Like you see the, wow, the trees are moving pretty much. Yeah, no man-made structures. I not seem to be able to find this vent tower thingy maybe they tore it down or rebuilt it like built it back I don't know maybe it's time to leave I don't know there's a piece of another tree hanging up there in that tree that's not a good sign okay um, I think I found the last meadow that I wanted to check out now I'm really on top of the the hill mountain thingy. I think this is like maximum altitude. I thought on these meadows here there could be like some former man-made structures. Maybe there are, I don't know. I didn't find anything. I took a walk a bit. I didn't really find anything on the dosimeter. Apparently they did a really good job cleaning up, which is nice. Like, good job government. This was fun. Um, if you ever are in the area, this is beautiful also just for hiking. If you have a dosimeter or a Geiger counter, might as well bring it. But really don't expect to find anything radioactive if that's your thing. It's anyway interesting. Um, I'm happy I, I visited this place. Finally, wanted to do this for a long time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try to find my motorbike again without getting hit by a tree. And then it's time to like head to the hotel, I guess. Have a shower or something to eat and a good night of sleep. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, see you next time. Bye.